videos. Um, first of all, again, I say this. I say this in a previous live stream. My throne but is where I say it is. Jung Queen have combos. Did you see it? Look, look how much help that is. Watch. Down goes another pretender. You can throw a knife and shoot simultaneously. You cannot do them together, but you can do it simultaneously. Come here, Gracie. Watch. You can do them one after the other. Are you done? And it can one hit. Get hit a headshot. One shot. One shot is not just one hit. In certain games. If you say one hit, that's literally just one hit. Which it can do to Tracer. But you have to be extremely close. But it can't. Shot! This is a shot. Okay. So I w I was watching somebody video early on YouTube. It was a short. They had Jungle Queen gun doing like 30 or 40 damage. It was pitifully low. Mine. Her range is 15. You got too close, didn't ya? They had a four shot it at 15. This is about 15. Because, look. This is five from. This is 10. Five. Uh, 10. Basically, you gotta go backwards. I don't know why I have it this way, but basically, you go 10. This is zero. This is five. This is 10. And this is about 15. At 15, you can three shot. This is a, this is not even our max range. You can still do damage from here. Oh, someone shot you. But around here, this is 15. By you, you don't have to three, do the three shot. What's up? So you can move cancer, you can combo cancer her. Like You got too close, didn't you? I shot count cancel into Jackie Blade, cancel into another shot. You can shoot into a punch. Come on! Fuck back! The for Tracer, you have to instead oh, of kill. Someone shot you have to to do the combo. You have to shoot, shoot, nice, shoot for one. You can't shoot. Oh, I have to wait to nice that. Can nice shoot and punch for another. Why? It's because between the the nice throw and the shoot. They don't care as they do. They don't care as each other. So the shot cooldown is still gonna go up. If you time it perfectly, you can do that. But it can get more complicated. And that's what, with a shout. The other thing you cannot cancel into, you cannot cancel in, into uh, our out of is this because of that slow wind up. So that's enough to kill. You didn't see, you probably didn't notice it because sometimes you don't catch it, but I did punch them. 
Because <laughs> you can do down. the You can do the throwing a punch <laughs> after the shot. Oh, I'm tired. I haven't been feeling good lately. Uh, you can throw throwing a punch after the shot. And that's enough to kill 200. Huh? <laughs> right? Yes, people are gonna try to keep your distance from you. But that's what the pull is for. And when you pull them, you can also do this combo. So. I'm, I'm trying to do it. But basically, you shoot into melee. Shooting the melee, you have to be closer, but again, yeah, I think this is about the distance. Kneel before your queen. Back me up. And spell kill. So she has combos. That's another combo. That that was just what. Four or five combos I just showed you. There's the basic, which I call basic because I'm used to it now. But it's, it goes. It's basic. You can, and that's enough to kill. Uh, I want to pick Rojo. Look how much that is, right? Time for the reckoning. I wonder how much that is gonna have when I come back. Oh, let's look how much that here has when I came come back. <laughs> what do you know? He said. Come on, mate. Try to keep up. And I didn't even do the full combo with the, and hit him with the axe before going to the ultimate. I warned you, boys. Should have listened. So, let's. See if I can start with fresh roll off. Yeah! She has combos. And I throw the shot in the middle. If Roho hook you, you can shout and the shot will take the damage. If you if the timing is perfect, the shot will take the damage. At the time, if you get lagged, some somehow you will take that. Then you have the shot. Should have ducked. She has combos. She's not bored. People just just think, oh, I shoot at night. But they don't do her, all of the stuff. To one by one by one. Come on, come on. I'm gonna try to do this one over here. Oh. <laughs> he didn't fall off, but yet. I'm gonna try to not knock him off. He's more than half health. Can't fly, can ya? He's more than half health. And if, as soon as you see him, this is the thing about Rojo. He gotta, he can either attack or he can take a break, uh, or he can take a breathe, right? If you see him throw his hook, 
and then he take a breathe, just start shooting. Then as soon as he's done, take out a breathe. Because also, if you have cooldowns off, you can still melee. It's still this, this, the, like, I, I think only uh, Tor, Torbjorn. Hammer does more melee damage. I'm gonna reset out. But, why you, the melee attack, I don't know if her melee with Gracie does more base, but I'm just gonna say it does 35 or 30 as everybody. With the tick damage, that's 45, but it's only 30 seconds, right? Doesn't matter. The tick damage doesn't matter. Also, also, if you see him take a breather, I'll hit him first. Because if you all him. He's he, while he's taking breathe, the thing he does again that bonus health. So you can use your ult to cancel. Also, look, look how much health I got while my ult still go. I mean, look how much uh, uh, ultimate charge I got while my ult still going out. And I missed right. You don't, you, you, even though the end and stuff is happening, you don't need that. Oh, you don't lose your, you. you don't lose your, uh, all game while the ultimate is still happening. Right now, at least. Also, you don't know I'm doing more combos. Ooh, down goes another one. Watch. Time for the reckoning. Still got because the ult, her ult already happened. The tick down is happening. And I saw that lake chick. And she still can gain all doors. So yeah, they nerfed her. They should have done it that much. Which again, I agree. They're what I don't know if what anybody else called it, but I called it the two to one rule. Basically, you if every time I know it's this, this is somebody knows. I'm going to try to find fast. No, I always forget how to get there. I think I already did that. There you go. What I, what is the two to one, one rule? Well, forever two or two buffs, they at least have to be one nerf, or two nerfs have to be one of the buffs. You have to have two of one for every one of the other. Why? Because players will complain. They will complain if it's that. So if there's two nerfs with zero buffs, they will they will literally say you're killing the champion. If there's two buffs with zero nerfs, they say you you break it, you make the champion broken. So where is it? Oh, you have to probably go to which now. Um. It's not on here. You have to go to the uh, actual site. I don't think I can pull it up on here. Cause this only starts for uh, when overclock switch off. Basically, they nerfed. They gave Jump Queen three nerfs to one buff. The last uh, before the game came out. All right? Why did they do that? I don't know if you were on here.
Why did they do that? Because they they listened to uh, they they did it based on high ranked play in Overwatch League. When you do that, you end up can, you can end up doing too much. Like I'm not saying that Tudo uh, uh, you can't do it. But you run a risk of people like, oh no, this champion is too weak, this champion is too broken, anything. But they don't. Like, maybe the champion was overpowered to begin with. Like, like, Symmetra, they gave Symmetra, they did the same thing for Symmetra, but it was 4 to 1. Right? Oh. I. Still don't know. See, that's the thing. Deflect is supposed to be able to not deflect melee attack. Jungle Queen uh, Carnage is supposed to be melee attack, but he still deflect it. So is it or is it not? It's kind of cute. Uh, yeah, you can't pull it up on here. But. No, I don't think. But. She, you, oh, I have 30 hours on her now. <laughs> I again I just started playing this game for the uh all this stuff I got level three. I just started playing the game for the open beta. It does they didn't care this is all from after I get got it to live and this was a week after. I played thirty one hour on Jungle Queen on Red. I thought it was just, just over twenty four. But yeah, I played so much of Jungle Queen. I didn't know she had these combos in live or, or debate attack. My, this is my total playtime, right? This is why win the loss ratio. It's, if you add up the numbers, they, they don't equal that. You notice how this is an item, these two are even. Yeah, I don't know why I do that. <laughs> this is so weird. This is weird why it's, it's like this. But yeah, I'm still at 10 up. Uh, I gotta go here. 92? Oh yeah, because I lost the match yet. Like, uh, I was losing match yet too. But at earlier before I started, I had a losing streak. I had a 55 cent percent win rate. I will, I will lose like five down, win three, and it started going down. But yeah, the reason I noticed it started going on because I started getting play like Jungle Queen is bad. It's like she's not, she's not. She got combos, right? Like, I just showed you a bunch of the combos. I didn't explain some of them, but basically, her combo, you, you, can, you can start with the axe or you can finish with the axe. What you don't do My is throw the axe in the middle of the combo because the axe got that slow one. So, one thing they could do to fix Jungle Queen is, it's my first idea. See that delay? Remove that delay. Just go straight into the swing. Go in there, pick up and swing. If I used that before. I used to uh, spend uh, months on farm. Just like farm stuff, one a little. You can pick up this swing, or you can just go straight into the swing. Whichever one you feel comfortable with. Some people can go spring swing if they, you know, have the counter up with. Also, look at that. That's way more than half health. Because this actually, this actually does a uh, hundred and it does ninety on impact. It does forty for the um, bleed. Double kill. What? That's over, over three seconds. Mind you, I also think they could. This is this is another thing they could do. So the first thing they could do: remove this delay point. The second thing they could do is make it so she can hit on impact. Needs a knife in it. I'm gonna make the weaker.
This is second and good. The eye is low health. Watch what happens. I have. See, I stop. I get got a little benefit. I didn't even heal up that much after that. Now what? I get no benefit. So they could do one or two things. They can give her a, a burst healing like they did with Baptiste. Good stuff. Where it burst on impact of Carnage and Gracie. I thought it was behind. Carnage and Gracie. On Carnage and Gracie, it can heal on impact. For a uh, set amount. Even on melee swing. The melee swing. Here, here's what I say the melee swing can just heal her for five. So she can do it repeatedly. I, I have noticed that the. This. And this kind of the same bleed. This, these two kind of the same bleed. Oops. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting this is shorter too, so maybe it's not here. <laughs> but yeah, this and this is the same bleed. They can separate those two bleeds as two separate things. They could do that. This kind of own separate bleed, this kind of bleed, and this two kind of bleed. That would boost her her, her overall damage and healing because not bleeding wounds. It's bleeding. It's basically a bleeding effect, but it's wounds. Bleeding effect is different. Bleeding effect literally puts blood on the ground, but wounding wounding is different. Uh, if they separate those two, it can help her overall healing. They can give her, like I said, the first thing they can do. First thing they should do, this is a need. Remove this delay. Because this time I want to combo into that or combo out of it. And I can't because that's delay. See? That little delay actually makes the combo slower. Like. See, I can combo into it. But I can't combo out of it. And. The delay it because it's slow. It takes long. Also, you see that janky? It, it kind of throws up. Kind of throw it off. I didn't notice that until now. I never noticed that. But yeah. yeah what is up with that? The axe seemed like it's off by a little bit. So uh, you could just just get rid of that delay. She can go straight into the swing. She can pick up and go into the swing immediately. Not pick up, pause, then swing. You can if you ever use an axe and you comfortable with it, which by lore she should be comfortable with her axe. You've been using it for what minimum since she was fifteen. Like I, I, for her height, she had a full growth spurt, so she been using since she was fifteen. So, well, she had a growth spurt before. I have getting all the science stuff for this, uh, but I'm just going based on lore. She was really short. Now she's six foot seven. <laughs> look, and she's hunched over, and look how she's just a tall row up. He's hunched over well, but she's taller than Rohar when they stand up. Look. I can remember my email button right now. Look how she look at that. This is her standing straight up. <laughs> like, like seriously. 
supposed to doorway Average doorways <laughs> Ooh. If you this was an average doorway, she's monstrous Monster really tall and she is she's a barbarian. She's a berserker barbarian. Basically if she was a D&D class She'd be berserker barbarian without the uh, negative Well the negative of um, um, getting exhaustion Which they should remove in D&D 1, but they are they gonna remove? I don't know. Anyway, um So I'm gonna try to say this again first thing remove this um Delay in the swing that can help us. Secondly, count the knife throw and the melee as two separate rules that can help her as well. Third, impact healing. Impact healing or kill heals on kill. Because if you, I'm gonna do this again. If you kill somebody. I don't know. For me, it seems like I can get lined up better when I'm not looking. When you kill somebody with Gracie, you get no benefit. When you kill somebody with Carnage, you get no benefit. See how he's me? That hand needs a knife in it. So. They don't count two separate things. Unless you hit two separate people. That's when they count two separate things. But. This and this count the same thing. It does the same damage. They can separate a melee you call that a fight? wound from this one. That can help her. So, if I kill somebody with this, I I stop getting benefit from it. So that's the three things they can do to help jump the point. Her and if you don't know, her achievement. Uh, oops, I hit the wrong name. Achievements. Uh, which one was on there? This adrenaline junkie. Have seven. Have have seven junk queen wounds. Active on an enemy at the same time in quick play comp or competitive play. I you can see when I did that. I did that on the twenty seven. I even have the video up on here and on my YouTube. How do I did I do that? First of all, I got I got a little lucky because the window to do that is slim. So. The window to get this at base My is very slim. Is you have you have three seconds to get it. Oh, so I'm going to build on my own. Too close, didn't ya? Double as the queen declares. Hard enough. It's only buckshot. Uh, I can't show it. Oh, your blood is off. Oh, someone shot. You also, oh, you, as you know, you can. Swing and then shoot right after. There's a slight delay, but you can't die. 
So, uh, how do you do this? Boys? I, 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 they had two more people I can show you, but first, uh, Time for the 39, four through somebody, then swing. And if you hit two people on the swing, that's, if you hit five people, that's five right there. During the knife, you see how I missed? Then I pull it through them? Because if I hit them with the knife, there's a good chance I can kill them. And then I swing? If I hit two people with it, or even one, it's enough. Two people is just comfort though. So, you hit five. You land your knife. You land your pull through knife. That's six. Then you land your swing. That's seven and eight. If but if you do it if you look you call that a fun? You can also melee and but that's the thing. The two don't count to get separate. Um if you land a knife then melee Yeah there's a good chance you're gonna kill them. Before you can get a uh, even a melee hit in. So if you out them then lay your knife, then melee, you're gonna kill them. So you can't end up not getting an achievement because you landed your knife and then you melee it instead of pulling through somebody. Come on, no. Not mine, you can also do this. Oh. Well, throw right here. Still get the wound that way. So that's why you don't. And I repeat, this is the key part of getting this achieved. Don't land a knife. Gracie, come. You have to miss Gracie. If you land Gracie, you will kill them. You want to pull it through. And if you do the math, the all does 100. Over 5 seconds. Gracie will do 80. On impact and 15 on 15 on uh wounds. Corner, that's a kill. But if you ult, then pull through, then corner, you won't kill. You won't kill before the. Oh, finish. The ult might kill them after. You won't kill doing. So. You're embarrassing yourself. So again. Oh. Pull the rope. Clash. See? It killed them. The ult killed them. The ult and the wound. Cut this. I get this counts as several wounds. This counts as several wounds. And the ult counts as several Melee doesn't count as several wounds from Jacket Edge. Or Jacket Blade. That's the problem. It would be easy if melee counted as separate wounds. But it doesn't. So, you have to, have to, have to combo it correctly. You can melee into Carnage. Or you can melee out of Cornish, but again, it's it's it it's a tight window. Then when I got it, somebody had rally, they had rally up. So I had my window of opportunity was open even further. Because I doing the wound of damage to them doing rally. I mean I had rally up, which boosted my attack. They had um uh, sound bear, sorry. They had Lucio. I got them too confused. They had Lucio, I had rally. So it gave me more health and stuff. Then I got nano. But yeah. You you have the, the uh, that's the two grounds you have to do. It. If if they had if I hit uh, they had sound barrier up oh, if I hit doing the sound battery, it gave me a bigger window opportunity, but there's a good chance I could die doing. So when my rally popped, I saw an opening. And I saw all of them came in, so I did it. 
when I did it, I hit all five. I stopped just behind the basher. I threw my knife at the ground. I turned to the basher and pulled it. Then I hit one and hit two people. And I got it that way. You can you can swing the knife. I don't recommend it. Guess again. You see, you see, it's slightly longer. But your knife is this this one slightly shorter. So, but you can cancel. You can cancel into going into the twin. You can cancel it. See, you can cancel into the swing from crazy. By you can melee cancel. You can cancel it by using corner. Can't go in the corner into, into a melee. It's slower, and I'll spam it. You can't watch. I'm spamming melee. Now I'm melee now. I'm gonna spam um Jagged Blade. Now I go. Because it cannot be cancelled out of. It can be cancelled into. Back me up. So that's that's how I did it, and I I knew that I had a small window of opportunity because I was practicing before. Like when I first read it, I'm like, oh, why didn't I get this before? Then I realized that I killed people during the ultimate, so they was dead before I can get the swing off. And that's why, whatever you do, you have to miss Jacket Blade. Because you hit Jacket Blade, there's a good chance you will kill. You want them to be at full health. So, you have to ult. Ult is a start off. You can't try to finish, but the problem with trying to finish is if they are. Not group up, you will not hit everybody. You can end up hitting three people. The ult is the starting point. Also, don't nano before. Because if you nano before, you do 150 damage. And how much health do the trades I have? 150. If you wonder why they don't, oh. Uh, Make it give uh uh rampage more help because 150 is always your breaking point. You you want the lowest health champion to be a breaking point for anyone hit combo. Kneel before your Trace is your lower health. And that's the breaking point. Because nano, I believe, give you 50% um, damage boost. The stats will be from 100 to 150. Hey, mine. You have to nano before. Because I, I, from what I can tell, it don't increase the wound damage. It might be bug, I, but from what I can tell, it doesn't increase the wound damage while Nano happens. Basically, it mainly so Nano and Mercy um, amplify damage amplification um, increase before the shot. Which means if I rampage, I have to have it on me before. Now I could be wrong. It might not be. It might not be fully. Implement a bug, but from what I know is also again time for the reckoning See how far that is You she has to 
big radius, but it's not that big anymore. Oh. Basically, it's, it's 10 meters, it's roughly 10 meters wide. I think it's 12. So, it, before it was 14. They knock it out my one, which is justified. Because it was so big, you can hit people outside even close to the ring. So, at 10, which is, again, this fine. You can hit them and somebody who's around here, around here. So, it's going to be 12. But it's still, it, it's big enough to where this Y area is, is effective. Uh, yeah, but like I said, I when I led it, I knew what I was doing. If you watch the video, you would think, you will see that I threw my knife first. Because I know if I hit Bashan, if I hit anybody itself, Bashan and the front line, it was a kill. How did I know that? I came here and tested. I pick multiple people, and you probably see it all day. The, uh, another one time when I did, I picked multiple people and I was like, okay, who do I kill with my ultimate? If I hit them with Jack and Blade stuff. The only one I could figure out that it was Bash, these, all of them, and Bash. Everybody else who, it may be Tor, 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 But Torborn, Torbjorn, is smaller, and let's look at how much health he has. Is it 150? Tools in hand, yes. brain in gear. It's 150, right? But it's more health, uh, which, uh, which I think, believe. Yeah, actually, 300. So he's, he's a bigger winner out of 20. Uh. So, my throne is where I say it is. Please, light me harder. <laughs> Should have ducked. So the combo still can work on him. Did I hit the? You got too close, didn't you? Oh. See? You're allowed to hit back. He's slightly different because you have to hit a chair shot. Get in the punch for You hit a hair shot here, you do. Back. You can still kill. With the wound, cause it does forty. It uh two four uh two two does roughly two ten. Then the wound does a ref. So or two fifteen. It's a two fifteen and two ten. But yeah, two second wounds enough to kill. Also, another thing. Do you notice my crosshair? I went with this because it helped with my throw. As the queen decreed. I, I, I seen one of my earlier videos. I was practicing it with crosshair, which one helped with my throw. So line up. See? Nice. So, but yeah, I was practicing my knife throw and I realized and that's my kill. I realized this is a better uh better it's helped me better to understand what my 
Uh, uh. Like, we're here. Yeah, look. She doing it. She doing pitiful damage, but she can do it at 45, I believe. Or is it 45 or within 45? She does something. And I think all hitboxes are within, um, silly hitbox are within her range on most spots. She's doing fight damage. This is basically her follow up point. Uh, max follow up point is right around there. So you're doing slight damage, but up close, it does a lot more. Which, again, if you notice every front line, they have either a lot of 